Okay, Professor Forfet, thank you to be with us here in Haute École de la Sauté La Source in Lausanne. It's a great honor for us, you to be here with, uh, with us today. Well, it's certainly a great honor for me to be here and I'm very grateful that I was invited. Thank you. Can you introduce yourself in a few words? Well, um, obviously I'm Jacqueline Fawcett and um, I'm a professor at the University of Massachusetts in Boston in the Department of Nursing. And I've been um, a nurse for 53 years and I've had a PhD for 41 years. And uh, my work has focused primarily, especially in recent years, but throughout my, my career on the nature and structure of knowledge in nursing. And I've also um, done a fair amount of research on um, women's experiences of pregnancy and the postpartum and focusing on the differences of women's experiences when they had cesarean births versus vaginal births. And that re research has been based upon the Roy Adaptation Model and we've expanded with students and colleagues to looking at overall the program of research would be adaptation to life events. So that, that research has given me a great deal of, of pleasure in doing that and hopefully have made contributions to our understanding of what it, be, what it means to become a parent. Um, and the research that I do on, and, and the other forms of scholarly work I do on, on understanding nursing knowledge has been especially rewarding to me and probably is why I'm here. <laughs> okay, thank you. Can you, uh, can you tell us what are for you the biggest challenges in nursing today? My view is that the biggest challenge is for nurses to understand that we are a profession and a discipline, which means that we have a distinctive body of knowledge and that we need to use that knowledge to determine whether it's really useful in practice and so that we can improve the quality of lives of people who come to us for their services. And it's been a very big challenge because um, both um, researchers and um, staff nurses and um, faculty have tended to reject our own knowledge, which we've had for many, many, many years, going back actually to, to the 1850s and Florence Nightingale's work. Um, and, and instead um, are more, more inclined to use knowledge from other disciplines. And I don't understand why that is. So I really think that that's the biggest challenge is, is for all nurses to understand that when we say that we're a discipline and that we're professional, that means we have a distinctive body of knowledge. And then we have an obligation to use that knowledge in service to people who come to us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you use the term of nursology. Can you explain this? Uh, this yes, uh, well, um, <coughs> I heard the term nursology many, many years ago and then rather forgot about it. And um, recently one of my students um, mentioned it and I remembered some work and then I did some, some literature searching and found that, that the word had been used um, in the early 1970s, maybe the middle 1970s, and then dropped out of use. And um, so I wrote a paper with my students and a faculty colleague. And so the idea of calling our discipline nursology helps other people as well as nurses to understand that we're a discipline just as biology or psychology or sociology and the other ologies and that what we're doing is we're studying nursing to develop theory. And I think that it's a more accurate term than for the name of our discipline than nursing as the name of our discipline. So I, I'm rather in favor of it and then, then we would naturally be called nurseologists, which is a bit of a tangled word but I think that it's really important that we, um, that we think that way about ourselves. And it may not be the word that is adopted. So for example, um, I would like our department to be called the Department of Nursology rather than the Department of Nursing. And I'm not sure that I can convince my current department chair or my colleagues to do that, but it gets them to think about it and our students think about it then in that way. And, and, and when I go up to conferences like this and I use that term, then people at least think about it and they can reject it, but at least they think about it. And I do recognize from my um, conversations with faculty here this week that um, translating the term into French and perhaps in German and other languages 
might be very cumbersome. So I'm not sure what we're going to do about that, whether we would just adopt nursology as the term um, or use what the other terms that we use for nursing or think of some new term that would be um, more easily translatable. Thank you. Well, thank, you. That. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.